loved living here so much. If you hear stuff in the background, it's because I have someone helping me pack and someone helping undo all of the fixtures that I have in the wall. Where's the cockroach? Nuh-uh. Shut up. I've never seen a cockroach here. Is it alive? Yes. Shut up. Kill it. If that isn't a sign, I don't know what is. Kill it. You kill it. No, you kill it. I need a spatula. We packed it, the spatula. No. Dude, kill it. It's little things on its face are twitching. Flush it down the toilet. I don't want to touch it. My manhood has left the building. Anyways, when I moved into this apartment, I literally had zero dollars. I had no idea how I was going to pay the next month's rent. And in this apartment, I have made more money than I ever have in my entire life. I've built a huge career. I have found so much self-love. And it's just been such a transformative experience. I'm so grateful for all the moments that I had. But the reason I'm moving, there's a lot of pros and cons to this apartment. I'm going to give you a whole apartment tour of this place because it's honestly so beautiful. But... I'm also going to show you some of the cons. One of the biggest reasons I'm moving is that this area is very, very, very not safe. I actually live right next to the Hotel Cecil. And if you don't know what the Hotel Cecil is, you should give it a Google because it is the most haunted hotel ever. And they just turned it into low income housing, which has made the crime rate around here go a lot way up. It's just become an area that I'm ready to leave. But the way that I found my new apartment is honestly so crazy. My editor and my best friend Marina sent me a video on TikTok of this apartment and I saw it and I have seen so many beautiful apartments. I have toured so many apartments and I just didn't get that feeling. The feeling that you get where you're like the butterflies in your stomach are growing crazy and you're like this is it. There are all these beautiful apartments and I just didn't get that feeling. And so I didn't do it. And it, it's been like four months since I decided I wanted to move. And I've just been like, you know what? I'm not even going to look anymore. The universe is just going to place the right thing in my lap. I kept saying that. I kept being like, the right place is just going to fall into my lap. I'm not even going to have to find it. I'm not even going to have to search for it. And that is literally exactly what happened. She sent me this video of this tour. And it happened to be like barely, like right above my price range and has every single possible thing that I wanted. Has brick walls, cement flooring, has a washer and dryer, has three different patios, has two bedrooms, is two floors. It's the pet house, so it's like on the top of the apartment. There's so much, so much more light in there. It has every single thing that I wanted to upgrade from this place. But the only problem was that there were 200 other people that wanted this apartment. Like, literally, they had 200 people want to tour this apartment. I think he said 17 people applied for it. And it basically got narrowed down to three. I got the apartment. <laughs> I'm moving. I don't even know how this happened. I don't know how they picked me. It was so low chances and somehow it's mine because I think it's because the universe placed that into my lap. This is it. This is what you've been waiting for. This is what you've been working for. And God damn, I'm so grateful and excited. But it was such a crazy experience because the day that I found out, I was literally, this is so funny. The day that I found out, I was just like getting really nervous about it. I was also getting nervous like, what if I get it? and I can't pay for it. It's a it's thousand dollars more a month that I'm paying here. That's crazy Who do I think I am? I just like having all these scary thoughts and I was just sitting there and as I'm thinking this out of nowhere My speakers just start playing. Do you believe in magic out of nowhere? <laughs> I opened Spotify it wasn't even playing on my Spotify it just out of nowhere I was just sitting there worrying and, and I swear it was my angels and my angels were like do you believe in and then a few hours later I find out that the apartment is mine and yes I do believe in magic and oh I just feel like this new era of my life is gonna be so magical and beautiful and filled with love and excitement and it's gonna give me so much more motivation like getting a new place especially when it's like outside your comfort zone financially it really just pushes you to grow that's what happened to me in this apartment and I'm ready push me I got this I know I can I'm ready for the up level starting with this vlog I am so excited to start vlogging this is actually my first vlog on my YouTube channel even though I already have 250,000 subscribers from uh, posting my shorts so I'm starting off super excited and this is just gonna be a whole new series and obviously this is my move out vlog but next week I'm gonna post my move in vlog and yeah okay anyways without further ado 
let's show you this apartment and i am in the midst of packing i should have done this tour sooner but better late than never okay so this is the front door and this is like a side little room it used to be my office and then i moved my office and i was going to turn this into something else but i ended up moving instead over here this used to be my bedroom actually as i loved this room but um i actually like my bedroom way more when it was set up over there and then i had all my clothes hung up in this big wardrobe a bunch more clothes and then i have curtains i like that this is a studio apartment so there's no bedrooms but i like that there's like little concaves and room separation and then moving on this is the bathroom and my favorite part about the bathroom is the mirror that i installed and the wallpaper i'll link this wallpaper because i think it's so cute i'm definitely going to recreate it in my new apartment but i love the bodies body yaddy yaddies so cute and like this way is the toilet sorry there's so trash everywhere and then over here is like i built this storage and it's a mess but it's gonna be so much better in the new place and the shower bath there's literally a leak from that pipe oh i'm ready to move i love this place though so grateful so ready to go over here i installed all of these mirrors because i just opened the space up so much more and then i have my piano here This is my little living room area. I have, this is the Samsung frame TV, which honestly is so expensive, but I love it because I love how uh, pretty it looks. And I have my own little photo right there. This I got on Amazon. I'm gonna link everything by the way. And this is a rug that I got from CB2. And I saved up for this because I just love anything with boobs and bodies all over it. I think it's so cute. This is actually from Pottery Barn. This, I want to say, is from Amazon, actually. This poof chair with the boucle. I like that. And then this was my office, and it wasn't finished. I was going to do more stuff. I was going to, like, hang a bunch of stuff on the wall, but then I'm obviously moving. I really like these chairs with the cow print rug. I got these file cabinets, and then literally I just replaced the handle to make it look cuter. You come over here and I have my little breakfast table nook right here, which I like to drink my coffee at and hang out. I got this mirror on Etsy. This is my bedroom setup, which if you watch my podcast, you're probably familiar with. And I got the headboard from Urban Outfitters, but I actually, I added lights to the back of it so that it lit up like the sun. I have my clothing rack, bag rack, and then another little clothing area. This is like for my normal clothes, like sweatshirts, sweatpants and stuff. And over here, I have like a jewelry slash sunglass table. Um, this is just like a dresser, drawers. I put all my purses on this coat rack that I got on Amazon. I have two of them, one right over there as well. This is a, the first piece of art that I had in here. I actually designed it and had someone make it. It says, I can, I will, end of story. And that's me. And I love that piece of art. It's so pretty. It's made by Mary Bragg. I'll tag her below. She's amazing. She can make anything. She's fabulous. Oh, and another coat rack for all my robes because I am a robe queen. Now I have to show you my favorite part of the entire apartment. Ah, you've probably seen it on my social media, but let me give you an in-depth tour. So this is my closet room. This, when I saw this space, they were like, oh yeah, this is a bedroom. And I was like, no, this is the closet room. I actually got all of these racks on Amazon. These shelves, just shelves from Home Depot. This is a peel and stick wallpaper that I'll tag. I love this wallpaper. I probably won't do it again because my new place is all brick, but I love the way that the shoes lay. It's so beautiful. And then I have another rug right here, a little seating area, more shoes everywhere, more racks of clothes. Oh, this I got on Amazon and actually I spray, I spray painted it gold. I put all my belts on this you can see and then I have these nail polish holders for my sunglasses these necklace holders from Amazon again I'm gonna link everything and then this little mirror I also think I got it on Amazon and this is my vanity setup and I liked it right here I moved it here like about a month ago I really liked it right here because when I'm filming my get ready it's like I have my whole closet in the background I just think that light is so cute and iconic it says Maddie B's closet 
this is definitely my favorite part of the whole entire apartment. This is a piece of art me and my sister made, and this was when I thought I was gonna call my podcast Maddie B Totally Free. I don't like it, but I love that we made this because now this means so much because my new apartment is literally it's like a whole separate little unit on top of um on top of an apartment building so this actually is literally going to be me we like almost manifested that how cute and then the last thing that i haven't shown you is the kitchen and obviously it's all getting packed up right now i did the same thing i changed the handles out with my own custom handles that i liked and I actually built this sliding door. This was just like a piece of plywood and then me and someone put more pieces of wood around the edge and we painted it all. I got those brackets on Amazon, got the handle on Amazon, got that sliding rack on Amazon. Yeah, we literally just built this door. And then I also built this pantry because this is just like a random hole in the wall and I am an organized freak, but this isn't even exactly how I want it. In my new place, I'm gonna have it even more organized. That's the pantry. That's pretty much it for the inside of this apartment. Now let's talk about the cons of this apartment. This was probably the least favorite thing to show people like when they were coming to my apartment, especially if it, they had never seen it before and I was just taking them down here. Can you imagine the looks that I would get? Girl. I'm glad there's no people there, but there are usually is some people hanging out right there. But this is the last time in my new apartment. Oh my God. Oh my God, no alleys. No more alleys. No more alleys. I don't know if you guys are gonna think this is dumb, but I am just sobbing. It just hit me. I am leaving this apartment. And if you don't know me, this is gonna sound so weird, but my whole life changed because of this apartment in this apartment. It gave me so much motivation and on the days that I just couldn't feel anything, I felt grateful for this place. And I, I moved to this apartment with nothing and I built a whole life for myself and I thought that this was the best that it was ever got. Like th this is the best thing that I'd ever seen in my life. I couldn't imagine leaving and I'm leaving and I'm ready to go and I'm grateful and I'm so grateful for my new home but this is so sad, it's so bittersweet. Every single day that I woke up in this apartment, I opened my eyes and I would say, I can't believe I live here. I cannot believe I got the opportunity to live here. I can't believe that I made it this far. You know those people who are like, I can't imagine recording myself crying. Like, why would you whip out a camera while you're crying? And I'm just like, <laughs> I always think about whipping out the camera when I cry. I don't know if that makes me crazy, but I want to document all my emotions because I think it's so beautiful to have feelings and to feel so deeply and to care about so many things so much of the time. I think it's a blessing. And this place has been such a blessing. And I hope the next person who lives here feels all the love that I poured into it. Changed my life. Tomorrow I have the movers coming. I'm still obviously working on packing the rest of the place. They're literally coming at 9 a.m. So I clearly have some work to do, but Bellhop Movers is sponsoring me for this move. And thank God, thank God, thank you, Bellhop. I'm so grateful, but I'm just so excited for this new adventure. And I'm so excited to take you guys with me. And I'm so grateful for everybody who's here and watching me and with me on this journey. This is so crazy, I can't believe this is my life. I can't believe I get to live this life. This is so exciting. Thank you so much, I love you so much. I hope you can feel my love and gratitude through the screen and thank you. Anyways, I'll see you in the next apartment. <laughs> Bye.